Hi everyone, welcome to another video on the course of C energy. Okay, so today we're going to get the mop out, do some compounding, get it waxed up, do the windows, make it look good. So I'll spin you around and show you what we've got to take. So we're going to attempt to get stuff like this off today, which I think I can do. And we're going to try and get rid of some of these scratches. Like stuff like this. Stuff like this need tidying up and touching in. Same on the door. Sorry about the shadows. It's a bit sunny today. A few marks on there. It should come off. Bonnet's all good. Just bits of dirt. Got to mop the headlights. Tiny touch ups on the bumper to do. And I think this side's quite tidy. A little bit there. And then the roof. Food scratches on the boot. And the back bumper. We've got a tin of paint to touch them up. Okay, so let's get on with it. Okay, so today I'm going to use 3M Fast Cut Plus. Seems to be a really good compound, but give it a really hard cut. If you want to do on this one, and we've got a polish and mop. This one's a high quality one. With these, if you spend the money, you get a much better action on the head of the actual mop. Uh, cheaper ones will make the car look better. Right. Okay, so I'll spend about half an hour on this panel and I'll bring you back and show you what we got. So I've done all of this side, so it look really shiny, got all the marks off. Got a nice shine on it. it. Took me about an hour and a half, I think. So I'm now going round to the front headlights. On camera they don't show too well, but they're actually really yellow and hazy. So I'm about to sand them down and get them to shine again. So I'll show you how I do that. So first of all, I get a bucket like this. I've got some 1200 grit sandpaper, which I'll use first. And then I've got some 2000. Boil the kettle halfway, get some hot water, put some washing up liquid in, start scrubbing. Hold up so you can push a bit harder. Sand. And as you can see, it's already coming off, making a mess. Too much because it'll buff off anyway, but saves you a bit of hassle. 
every now and again just rinse it down. Let's see what we got. It's gonna go misty but that's part of the idea. Just want a nice flat smooth head okay. so we're already getting. So that'll be enough with the 1200. We want the 2000. Not 1200. <laughs> 2000 grit. Same again. This will just make it smoother and flatter. Andy going past in his lorry, <laughs> giving us the old horn. For anyone who don't know, that's Joe's dad. So, keep sand until it's going nice and smooth. Okay, looking pretty good. So what I'll do is I'll do another quick go on that off camera and I'll bring you back once we're about to buffer up. So I just finishing finished sanding the lights. As you can see, this one's obviously shiny because it's wet where I wash it down. It should dry up or misty like that. And then we'll buffer out. Took me about half an hour, 40 minutes. Getting flat. And they're going to uh, dry them down with a towel and start buffing. Had a good wipe down now, time to give him a buff. Same as what I use on the bodywork machine, green compound. Again, I unplugged it to plug in the compressor. <laughs>
that's one path. Keep doing this for probably 10 minutes. You want a nice shiny light. The more you do it, the shinier and smoother the light will be. Do the first pass and press down really hard on the second pass you do a really light pass you should end up with this probably see absolutely crystal clear light now from a terrible horrible yellow faded light hard to show because of the shadows and stuff but I can assure you it's crystal clear so I'll do the same to the other side and then I'll carry on buffing the body back so as you can see both lights are shining crystal clear better if you want them to be even if they're brand new so let's carry on with the bodywork onto the bonnet front bumper roof etc Okay, so I've gone over the bonnet two or three times now, and you can see it's got a lovely shine on it. This is what it looked like before. This is the half I haven't done, and the half I have done. Big difference, hard to show in the camera. Hopefully that's picking it up nicely. It's starting to look nice. This is the whole bonnet shining now, as you can see. It tries like a mirror. Looking really good. Do the front bumper. Then I'm going to go up onto the roof. Then work me right around the driver's side of the car. That's the roof looking like a mirror. Nice reflection. Hard to show here a bit. Alright, let's move on to this side of the car. Let's see if we can get rid of these bits here. Look like we did on the other side. The door, the wing. In the back corner. So that's the front bumper done. As you can see, looking quite shiny. Got a scuff up there we're gonna have to touch in. Not worth painting the whole bumper for that. All the other marks come off. The chrome's gone nice and shiny as you can see me in it. <laughs> Same on this side. It's all looking good. That big red mark we had down this side, all buffed out quick sand with some 2000 paper and then buffed it back in so that's all gone obviously the black is all dirty still but we haven't treated that yet 
we'll be doing that once we finish all this. Okay, so looking pretty good. Remember this is only the first stage, you have to go to a yellow, then a polish after this, and then a wax. So I won't show you all of that, but you'll see it all done. You get the idea of what I'm doing. Right, so I'm going to get this side finished now. passes so you get rid of all the black tar then just get lighter and lighter as you carry on doing it As you can see, I'll take it over and show you. All detarred, no tar, no dirt, no scratches. Just a lovely shiny bit of homework. That bit there, just a bit of polish and a teeny bit of mist. So, looking pretty good. Let's get on with the rest of the door and the rest of that side.
And that's the only way to do them bits. You can't do them with a the mop. You just have to do them just by one finger. Just go around them. But as you can see, they look really good once you have. That was fairly quick for this one, it's already quite clean around them areas. Normally that can take 15 minutes to half an hour just to do them bits, depending on how grubby they are. Right, let's get the rest of this buffed up. Okay, so I'll give that a few more passes off camera. I'll bring it back when I've done a few more. So wow, what a difference. Look at that for a showing. <laughs> Not bad at all for this sort of colour. It's hard to get a showing on these sort of colours normally, but that is lovely. Hard to show the reflection. But I think you get the idea. Don't shine up like a mirror, like a black, or something like that. But these, this one is really shining up nice. Looking good. Once I've done the windows and stuff like that, and done all the back bits, this is going to look a really good car. Right onto the back quarter, the boot, and the back bumper. And that's the buffing stage green finished. So you can see this side is looking really good. That mirror finish all the way along. All the marks out of that quarter are gone. Can see now back onto the back bumper and the boot. So that's the back end done, looking pretty good, nice and shiny. Got a couple of marks to touch in there, and these little bits along the back here. Otherwise, looking lovely. Right, I'm now about to do the windows get them shiny inside and out and then I'll move on to the black parts which will be tires, dash, door cards, under the bonnet, wheel arch trims, bumper trims, all that sort of stuff. Right, so let's get this one done. Quick sneak peek of the one that's coming in next because it's already here. It's so that one there. Just a quick sneak peek. <laughs> Right. Okay, so we're finished doing the mobbing. Done the green, done the yellow, done the polishing. Give it a wax. We're now going to have a quick dive, drive down the road to my spot. I'll have a look around it. We'll then do the black and 
the finishing touches, get some photos, and put them at the end of the video. But let's go and do the walk around. Show you where we are now from where we started. I'm sure you'll agree the car's looking like a totally different car. It's really, really clean inside here and outside. Lots of the marks and that come off. Had to do a few touch ups. Nothing too major. So we've got to the end of this car. The wheels are done, as you know in the other videos. They're looking good. Tires are shiny. Under the bonnet and stuff like that is done. For the first time, we'll give it a second coat once I get back, and then I'll take off the photos. So yeah, we're looking good. So we'll pop down the road here. Get outside the car. We'll walk around it. See the difference. I can tell you now before you even see it, the difference is huge. It's got a lovely shine on it now. So let's do it. Spin you around. Still can't get over how nice the car this is to drive. How quiet the engine is. Quite unusual on a course to see. They rattle away. You have to do the timing chain on them. This one was done a thousand miles ago, so been done, not a problem. So we're nearly at our spot. I'm gonna apologize before we get there in case it's a bit windy because it probably is. It's a bit rough out here at the moment. Wind wise. Been a nice day, been a nice hot sunny day today. Which is a bit of a pain when you're trying to mop, but got the job done. Started at about 11, finished at 6. So it's a long old day, but that's how long it takes to make a car to this quality basically. Make it look this good. You've got to put the time and effort in to get the reward. Right, so we're at our spot. Nice bit of sunshine. Sun's there going down, so let's jump out and see what we got, shall we? So for starters, you can see the interior is looking absolutely lovely. Same in the back, got all new mats. That's a bit of fluff, we'll get rid of that. All the back seats are looking lovely, like brand new. We got all the marks off the headlining, that's all looking lovely. Door cards all done up, looking like new. Sides of the doors done. One underneath the doors done. Inner seals, inside the doors, all that sort of stuff. But look at that! What a lovely shiny car. All the marks are taken off it. A couple of tiny touch-ups on the edge of the bumper. That's about it. Brand new screen fitted, as you know. Lovely shiny roof, no paint peel anywhere. Just a lovely, great shiny car. Not bad at all, eh? A couple of tiny dents in that rear quarter. But for the age of the car, it's really, really good. Bad at all, eh? Wheels come out great. As you know, looking nice, looking original. Right, so I'm going to finish her off and get her back out again, take her down the road, get the photos, and I'll add them to the end of this. And that's the end of this car. Not bad, four videos. Really pushed on and got the work done as quick as possible. Hard to work like that, but I like to work like that. Just really push on and get them done. And then have a couple of days doing something else, like going off fishing or something like that, or whatever I feel like doing. So, 
I'll add the photos to the end of this and that's the end of this one and I'll see you with the next one the next one is a black Corsa it's a one litre can't remember what model it is but it'll be coming up very soon we've already picked it up so I'll be getting that out tomorrow and we'll start that project we'll do the walk around and we'll go from there there's a lot more work to do on that one so I'll see you on that video tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Please like and share, subscribe, and I'll see you soon.